I, um, I had to change my video camera, but this is the second book of Building Legos with Matt. And I paused the movie, uh, 20 million miles to Earth, because I had video problems. But uh, so far, I have built this. So um, join me for the rest. Thank you. And adding this. Think of what will be said when I bring this strange creature to the Giardino Zoological in Rome. No, I'm going to the village. I'm going to see the young fisher boy and learn from him where in the sea it was that he found our friend. Right. I added a sticker. These things here. And this. Not sure what else. Fine, sir, except that, well, yes, I know. It's tragic the others died in the moment of their glory. But still, and I mean it, you deserve congratulations. Mine too, Bob. You did a magnificent heroic job. Is there some place where we can talk privately? My office is yours, General. This way, please. Added some headlights. I want to thank you for coming so a roll cage and I want to thank kind of thing. the government for expressing its desire to cooperate in this matter. I must beg you, however, for a good moment to observe strict secrecy. It is understood. 
What I have to say you will find incredible, but true. Colonel Calder here has just returned from an expedition to Venus. To Venus? Perhaps you mean Venezia. To Venus, the planet Venus. The planet Venus? That is correct. I was informed this matter was connected with something vast. But the, the planet Venus? Man's first interplanetary voyage. On the return trip, the spaceship was crippled by a meteor. Except for Colonel Calder here, the entire crew perished. Agreed. The problem that confronts us is this, senor. The atmosphere on Venus is such that a human being cannot breathe and survive for long even after using what we considered foolproof respiratory equipment. Several members of the expedition died there before the others realized the danger. And Dr. Sharman, the chief scientist, also became fatally ill. He died here after the ship crash. That is some wheels. Horrible, but massive. Now, on that ship was a particular sealed metal container. In it is an unborn specimen of the animal life on the planet. We've got to find it. Our task is to discover in what physiological way life is able to survive and to flourish like oh, this. Not until that secret is learned can another expedition expect to return. And return we must. For on Venus important minerals were discovered that would be of vast benefit to our own civilization. I am at your disposal, General. In what way may I assist you? You need divers. Several divers to descend to the wreck to search for the specimen. They will be here in the morning. Don't you want me to drive for a while? No, no, God, I'm not so sorry, Sandro. Grazie. Buona fortuna. Grazie. Senor Calasario, I should like to speak to the two fishermen who went aboard the wreck. Of course, General. I have them waiting. And now, if you will come with me, please. Alright. We got a forklift now. Put the guy inside. Assembled this thing. That spring loaded. It's got a little rubber band right there. One moment of your See it stretching? Please. I hope it don't break, but it probably won't. Lego proof. Uh, General, this is Marie and this is Monday. Oops. They are the two men who went inside of the ship before he sank. The American general wishes to speak to you of an item of great importance. We are looking for a cylinder about this high and about this round. Uh, very probably it went down with the ship, but there's always the possibility that it was knocked loose and may drift ashore somewhere today, tomorrow, who knows. It is so important that we recover this container and its contents that I have offered a reward of a half million lira. Please spread that information around the... You will not take my heart Silencio, from me. Silencio, Pepe. The general is speaking. Continue. Wait. Uh, what is it, son? What is it you wish to say? It is only if I speak of the thief on the sheep that you was promised to me that I may keep my heart from the great country of Texas. Of course you may keep your heart. What do you know about the big container? Um, there is a matter of a half a million lira. How much is that? Sufficient to purchase for me a cowboy horse like the ride in Texas? Enough to buy many horses. Now, what do you know about the big container? You promised to me about the hat? About the horses? You have my promise, son. It is there. Well, I finished this thing. Not sure what it is. Where? Where is it? Put some wheels on here. So. He must be somewhere on the road to Messina. He said he was going to Roma. Well, how will we find it? How will we know it? He drives a truck with the house of the fowls like a goat. A trailer. Find it as quickly as you can. I'll wait here for the divers. Yes, sir. Come on, Doc. Would you and your man come to the colonel? Of course, General. Uh, yeah, you're from Besides, I have to see a, a man about a horse. Yeah. I built this thing. And a half a million lira. Man, I built this thing.
and I put it together at a steering wheel. Looks like I put some gold in these cargo boxes. So. so whoever's flying this plane is pretty rich. It's kinda I cool. Decide, it looks like me. But it's closed, so strangely hot. And look at that. It's closed up so peek here and see what it is. I beg your pardon, but you must be here from the side. So come on the side. That's it. A strange animal has escaped. A strange animal? Like something you've never seen before? Like something no man has ever seen before. <laughs> it broke out of its cage and grabbed me by the arm. Oh, hello, almost a doctor. Oh. Well, apparently these two go together. This creature. Take this off. First it was this high. Then this high. Assemble this. Now, it is tall. Here it is tall as a man. Take these is off. The normal rate of growth? No. As far as I know, the only data we have is in Dr. Put the wheels on. Notes. Where's the animal now? He fled into the wood. Let's go. No, no yeah. please, 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 please. Tell me, what is that creature? Where does it Look come that. from? Look at that. You got yourself. No, we'll go with you. Like I'm a little right, ATV. Sorry, I can't now. Thanks for your help. So that's cool. All right. Well. Yeah. So. Looks as though my patient is fully recovered. What I built was a little ATV, a little cargo box, two more things which the ATV can turn into so it go on the plane, and then I also built the forklift itself. So, thank you, and that concludes book number two of Building Legos while watching 20 million miles to Earth. Thank you for watching, and join me next time for book three.